it's Chic Vintage Girl and I am wearing no makeup at all. I debated if I wanted to wear makeup or not but it's spa day for me and on spa day I never wear makeup especially since I'm still kind of sick and getting over a really bad cold I had. I haven't been putting on makeup at all so sorry if you don't you know like the fact that I have imperfections and you can just exit this video right now. I It takes a lot to actually film without makeup. It's really kind of scary because I feel a lot of pressure from the YouTube community to look my best and have the best makeup and have everything perfect to be able to film this video and since the new year has happened I just really strongly feel that I need to be more true to myself and less caring about what other people think of me. So welcome to the first 2014 video. It is going to show you how to Basically do your own spa day if you can't really afford to go to the spa or maybe you don't have a spa around you. I've never been to a spa, but I'm going to take you through my favorite products as far as like what I like to use. I am kind of in mid process of doing my own spa. I took a little bit of time out. Um, I just got out of the shower and I'm going to walk through the products and this is in addition to like taking a shower and doing your daily skincare routine. This is in addition to it so it's not... I'm not going to walk you through everything, just a few couple of my favorites. First, before I even enter in the shower, if I decide it's going to be a spa day, I hate to shave my legs. Absolutely despise it. I used to get horrible razor burn and bumps all over my legs because of shaving. It didn't matter what kind I used or anything like that. I love Nair, and I've talked about this before in a couple of other videos, and yes, this is the same bottle. It lasts me forever because I have I don't use it a lot, but... This is, well, I mean, I guess I don't use a lot of it when I use it because not a lot's needed. But this is a hair remover solution, and please don't try this unless you've already pre-tested it on an area of your skin first. There are some horror stories, if you look them up, of people not testing it out properly or not using it properly, and they get chemical burns from using this product. But I love it. I hate to shave. You just literally slap it on your legs, wait three to five minutes, um, it, you're not supposed to exceed 10 minutes and then you rub it off in the shower and anything that this did not get off sometimes there's bare spots or spots that they it didn't get ugh I'm like totally tongue tied I get it with a razor and my wish body shave whip I don't know what it is it's not like a shave cream but it's like a whipped cream and it's by wish and I love it I got it in an ipsy bag subscription I don't have it with me it's in my shower and it's still got water all over it but I love it I've, I think I have the almond one I'll link it down in the description if you want to check it out but it is amazing it doesn't foam out quick like shave cream does it has just a natural moisturizing whip to it which is awesome while I am in the shower, I, of course, you know, wash my hair, wash my face, wash my body, um, shave the armpits, everything like that. But there is one thing that I do shave. I shave, like, right here, which maybe that might not be the best, but it's better than plucking out all my little blonde hairs here. But I shave right here, and I also pluck my eyebrows because right after the shower, my eyebrow, it, like, opens up your pores. So I shave my eyebrows. Oh, just poke myself in the eye. And I also, not to sound gross, but I pluck the hair out of moles. I know that sounds really, really gross, but I have some on my arms that will grow out and they'll be black. And I have blonde, natu like natural blonde hair around like my body, so it's, it really stands out and I cannot stand it. I know that sounds totally gross. Like I'm totally embarrassed to talk about it, but I can't stand hairy moles. I know, like, ugh. It just makes me so embarrassed talking about it. My face is probably getting red now, but I can't stand it. Like there's some people that I see They'll have like some on their face and it'll just be like darkness and it's just like, oh, why don't you just pluck that? Like that, that has to be uncomfortable. But so I do like around my arms and stuff. I don't have like any on my face, but I definitely do around my arms. And then also I have a scar right here and I'm getting ready to break out. Yay. But, um... Hair, sometimes when it grows around my scar, kind of sticks out, so I have to pluck it there, too. But that's the closest thing to having a mole on my face. But anyways, <laughs> enough about moles. After I pluck my hair out of my eyebrows and everywhere, I like to use a body butter. I've never used this before until just a couple of days ago. I got this for Christmas. It's my very first body butter. It's by Bath & Body Works, and it's in the scent Paris Amour. 
love it. It is so creamy. I use it on my stomach and on my hips. I use the Paris Amore Triple Moisture Body Cream on my legs. And then I also put on my lip mask right after I'm out of the shower. Once I have rubbed in all the lotions and I put on my lip mask, then I do hair products. It depends on what look you're going for. I personally don't like to have my hair in a towel wrapped up because it promotes breakage and I have fine thin hair as it is. I use the Healthy Sexy Hair Soy Renewal product. I put that on damp hair, use just maybe about a dime size. This if I want to blow dry, normally I don't blow dry my hair, but if I want to I use the Big Sexy Hair Blow Dry Volumizing Gel. This works really well. Just be careful when you go around the roots because it can kind of get a little crusty and weigh down your perfectly clean hair. I have not done this step yet, but I am going to be putting on a mask. I like putting masks on when it's my spa day. Sometimes I will put this on like when I'm soaking my feet because I'm going to show you the pedicure treatment that I do but I love masks. I love any kind of mask. It's except like pumpkin ones. I got a pumpkin mask once and it was really bad. It smelled horrible and it made me look like I had baby food all over my face. But this works really well. It's like a clear pink and you can either leave it on for 10 minutes and take it off or leave it on the whole entire time. I normally leave it on the whole entire time so then my skin is extra moist. Um, as far as spa days go, this kind of just popped into my head. I also do this like before date night, which I know this sounds like really bad, but um, I do. I take this extra step just because I want to be, I don't know, like spending extra time with myself helps me feel extra confident. And so yeah, if you want to do this before date night, if you got like a couple hours, then by all means do this because you will feel like a princess afterwards and it won't break the bank. Plus, most of the stuff that I use for spa day, I don't use like on a regular basis or if I do it's very limited so these products will last you a while if you only plan on you know doing a spa day maybe like once a week or something especially if you had a really stressful week it really just kinda brightens everything up and gets you excited especially it's like sickness time and I have been horribly sick and that's why I decided to do this because I want to start feeling better. Timeline goes after I'm out of the shower and I have put my hair ointment in and all the lotions and everything else that I can think of I put on the mask and sometimes I do like to put my hair up but then it'll kink so sometimes I just put it behind my ears and let the mask dry it doesn't take too long to dry and then I will get a tub of water um, which normally if you have like an organizer and you have a shelf that you're not using you can fill that up with water and fit fit your feet in and I use this satin hands three-step process by Mary Kay. It's unscented and it's really easy to use. I just fill up the tub with warm water and before I soak my feet I put in the hand softener which you can use this for your feet too and because you're going to be using this for your feet it'll also treat your hands at the same time which is marvelous. But I use the hand softener and then I soak, no wait, I use the hand softener, get it all over my feet, in between my toes, mostly up to my ankles and then I put on the satin smoothie hand scrub um, this is also unscented and then I soak my feet once I have these two in I soak my feet as long as I want as there's no time limit sometimes I most of the time I'll put in like a Disney movie like Tangled or just like a girly movie that I like to watch and I'll paint my fingernails and then once my feet are completely like peachy and like have all those little wrinkles over them. I'll take them and dry them out with a towel and then I'll put this fragrance free hand cream which is really good for feet too and that's like my at home pedicure um, little treatment that I do. Now as far as painting my toenails those are really easy. I don't use the little foot pads because they kind of I don't know like my feet don't like the spacing I guess but I do paint my nails before I soak my feet so I have to take off all this old I had 2014 painted on this hand for New Year's and it's like down to the bare minimum and I've got to redo them. I think I'm going to be redoing them in a silver by Natalini. I think that's what you what it's called. It's called caviar. It's a real real pretty color and it kind of reminds me of January a little bit but yep so that's pretty much my whole entire routine. I have a little cute blindfold if you want to put like a blindfold on or if you want to get a tub of hot like 
not a tub, but like a bowl of hot water, put a washcloth in it and then put it over your face. That'll also help you feel good. I did that when I was sick as well. And yeah, just have a very fun spa day. You can use whatever product you feel fit. You don't have to use these products, but these are just the ones that I like and this is my little routine. And I'm so excited. I can't wait to go out there and pop in a movie and get my mask on and get my feet in there. And let's see, sometimes I do like to put on a little perfume. This is my favorite one. It's by Aeropostale. It's um, Bela, and it's almost out. This is a small bottle. I have to go get the bigger one, but it's almost out, and this is my favorite one ever. I know I talked really, really fast. If you have any questions, definitely let me know. If you want to romance it up a little bit, you can, of course, put, like floating candles and we which you can take a bath too sometimes I take a bath but we just have a shower down here so it's so much easier because all my stuff is down there but you can get a bubble bath going you can get bath salts salts you can get um, like battery ba I recommend battery operated lights like the little candle lights like I have right in there it's a tea light battery operated light and so you don't have to worry about flame or anything I also have like rose petals you can sprinkle that all around but I'm also kind of lazy on spa day so I don't want to go like too out because then I have to clean it all up <laughs> I'm just gonna finish my little spa day if you have anything that you like to do to pamper yourself or treat yourself definitely let me know in the comments and please subscribe if you're not a subscriber it would mean the world to me also I have an Instagram Twitter and Facebook you can check out all the links are down below I have a Pinterest as well too sometimes I get addicted to pinning so but I will see you guys later Thanks. Bye.